Welcome to Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbach. This is the podcast where I encourage you to go out and take your dream, receive your destiny from the Lord Jesus, the destiny that He planned for you before the foundation of the world. This is the territory that God has ordained for your life. It's a big dream that you have, and it can happen. Every good thing is waiting for you, and today we're going to talk about making that visible in your life. Stay tuned for today's episode. Hello and welcome to Take Your Territory with Jamie Rohrbaugh. I am Jamie Rohrbaugh and I'm so glad to have you with me today. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for an encouraging word about do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old for behold, God does a new thing. Stay tuned. Friend, are you ready to leave the past behind? I know the last couple of years for so many people have been really, really difficult and I would definitely include myself in that. Although I'm blessed, and as we talked about in the last episode, we need to all be thankful for the fact that God is still keeping us breathing and he's still taking care of us, but that doesn't negate the fact that times have been pretty hard too. Well, you know, God always is in the business of doing a new thing. And one of the passages that he has really been speaking to my heart lately over and over comes from Isaiah chapter 43. Starting at verse 16, it says this, Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. Friend, I just read the passage from Isaiah chapter 43, verses 16 to 21. And the reason that I wanted to talk to you about this verse today is number one, I want you to know that God does occasionally allow your enemies or even send enemies out into your path. Why? It's not because he wants the enemy to destroy you. It's actually rather that he needs that enemy to be destroyed. And he knows that you're the one to slay the giant. You're the one to destroy the enemy. You are the one to conquer because Christ is in you and he's the hope of glory. And Jesus is, of course, our conquering king. And so greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. And God will always help you win because you are in Christ. So in this first part of the passage from Isaiah 43, It actually says that God brought forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power, and that they laid down together. They did not rise. They were extinguished and quenched like a wick. He's talking about Pharaoh's army of Egyptians that came out against the Israelites. Now, in that story, if you recall, it wasn't just the Israelites that the Egyptians were fighting against. God was actually there in the whirlwind. He was there physically present in person with the Israelites turning the Egyptians back. So here, this passage is telling us that God is the one who brought them out. Why? Not so they could get in your way, but rather so they would be destroyed. Well, then we have verse 18 that says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, verse 19. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. My friend, God did this for the Israelites. He made a road in the wilderness. He made rivers in the desert. And he will do the same thing for you right now. And the word of the Lord to you today is, don't remember in a bad way those bad things from the past. Should you remember the wonderful works of God as we talked about in the last episode of this podcast? Yeah, absolutely. God wants you to remember his mighty works, but don't remember the things that are former, the things that no longer have relevance in your life. God's mighty works always have relevance in your life. But those former things, the things that are of old, that are old, that are not useful to you, that are not helpful to you, those are the things we're supposed to forget. And this is coming up out of my spirit right now. I'm preaching stuff right now that I hadn't even fully processed myself. So I know this is the Lord saying, you know what? Those old things that are not useful to you, it's just time to let them go. Why? Because God says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Now, remember that key word, now. God is bringing forth a new thing for you now. And it's going to be a good thing. 
It's going to be something where he is going to make a road in the wilderness. Remember that God is the one who makes a way when there seems to be no way. If there is a roadblock in front of you that seems insurmountable, you are on miracle territory because making a way in the wilderness is his specialty. And then it says here that he'll make rivers in the desert. Hey, what's impossible? Hey, a river in the desert is impossible because a desert by definition is a desert because of its lack of water. And so here God is saying that he's going to put a river, not just a little spring, not just a tiny little dew drop. No, he's going to put an actual river in the desert for you. So if you are in a place that feels dry and barren where there's no water, if it feels like it's just hard and God forbid you're going to die there, friend, God wants you to know, look up. You're not going to die there. It's not going to stay dry and barren. God is right now putting a river there. You don't even have to wait to get out of the wilderness to experience God's blessing. No, right there in that land of famine, he's going to put a river in your desert and it's no longer going to be a desert because when the river comes, it becomes an oasis. When the river comes, what used to be desert becomes a green, verdant valley. So God is transforming your wilderness. He is transforming your desert and he is making that desert to blossom like a rose. That's what he's going to do. And his word says this very specifically. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. It says the beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches. Isn't that interesting? Because as we talked about in the last episode from Psalm 107, Holy Spirit was yearning in that psalm. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Well, here he's saying that, you know what? Even if people don't give thanks to the Lord, even if people don't honor him for his goodness and his wonderful works to us, the beasts of the field will honor him. The jackals and the ostriches will honor him because he gives waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Even the animals know that God works miracles. Do we know that? Do we remember it? Do we look at the roadblocks in front of us and say, God, I just thank you. Thank you, God, that these roadblocks are nothing to you and that you're going to make a road right through here, a highway, Father. Thank you. And do we look at the dryness and the barrenness around us and say, oh, God, this is going to be a verdant valley. Your river is rushing right here, God. I see it coming. Your water's going to overflow. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful, Lord. Thank you. Do we say that or do we sit around and whine and complain and think that the obstacles are somehow insurmountable? Hey friend, is this ministry blessing you? Have our free podcasts and blog posts and prophetic words and version plans and videos and live streaming worship, prophetic mentoring sessions and all the other things we offer, have those things been a blessing to you? If so, would you consider partnering with me? Our ministry is made possible because God provides all our needs, but he uses people around the world to do it. We have ministry partners who partner with us in the amount of $1, $2, $10, $8, $20, $100, $150, and more every month. If you would like to shoulder up with me and run for the king with me in this ministry, go to our website, click on Give, and you will find about five ways to give through Cash App, PayPal, credit cards, ACH, debit cards, U.S. mail, and so on. My friend, the Lord uses you. Thank you for your generous support. If you're already a partner, please know I pray for you daily. We are so thankful for you, and I appreciate your faithful co-laboring with me as we reach the world for the kingdom of God and bring souls into the kingdom and raise up a pure and spotless bride unto Jesus Christ. The Lord uses you to help make it happen. Thank you. Friend, God is the one who gives waters in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. And it says here in verse 20 of Isaiah chapter 43, that he does this to give drink to my people, my chosen, this people he has formed for himself, he says. They shall declare his praise. My friend, let's just go ahead and start and just praising him now, shall we? Because he is making a road in the wilderness for you right now. He is making a river in the desert for you right now. He is giving drink to you right now. He has formed you for himself and he has chosen you. He has not forsaken you. He has not abandoned you. He will never let you down. He will never let you be without support. He is your strength and your stay. And friend, God is with you. He's for you. And he is making a way right now. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I just thank you that you're making a way. I thank you that the obstacles are crumbling even now. I thank you for your word that says, do not remember the former things. So Father, right now, we're just letting those things go that don't profit us. We're letting those things go that are old, that are no longer useful. Lord, we're not going to consider the things of old anymore. Lord, we thank you. We behold, for you do a new thing. 
Thank you for the new thing that you're doing, Lord. We bless you for it. We praise you for it. We receive it now. We take it with our prayers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thanks so much for tuning in. Please shoot me an email at jamie at fromhispresence.com if this podcast has been a blessing to you, and we would love to hear from you. Again, have an awesome day. We are praying for you. Check us out at fromhispresence.com for more encouraging words, and we will see you back with the next episode. Bye-bye.